Video games come in all shapes and sizes. There are people that simply want to hack and slash away at things after a long day at work. Others want an incredibly challenging game full of puzzles. In this video, we're going to take a look at games that make your grey cells work overtime. So put on your thinking cap and get ready for the 10 most complex video games of all time. We know what you're thinking. How complicated can video games really be? It's not rocket science. Well, Kerbal Space Program is rocket science. It's a game about building your own spaceship and launching it into space. This sounds a lot easier than it is. You really need to think like someone from NASA if you want to see the outer edges of space. Making any real progress requires hours of experimentation and lots of brain power. However, it's also fun to fail and watch your spaceships explode on the launch pad. That's why you create machines for doing the job, such as furnaces, mining drills, steam engines, inserters, pipes, transport belts, assembling machines. Factorio is a dream game for fans of automatic processes. This is an awesome strategy title if you can get past the fact that graphics are very pixelated. It's a game about building and creating automated factories to produce items of increasing complexity. Your base just keeps growing and growing until you realize you haven't slept in three nights. This is a dangerously addictive game for programmers and maths teachers. The technical stuff is very complex, but that doesn't mean that casual builders can't enjoy it as well. War Fortress is a roguelike building and management simulation in one. It is widely considered to be one of the most complicated games ever made. Don't let its simple graphics fool you. There are lots of different systems at play here. The fan-made user manual for this world-building game is over 200 pages long, which is kind of insane. You actually need to study before you can start up your first game. Attempting to get into Dwarf Fortress is a challenge few gamers dare to take on. As nations race for global conquest, they look to their leaders to inspire greatness. When it comes to grand strategy games, nobody beats Europa Universalis 4. This game makes the Civilization series look like Command and Conquer. It's incredibly intimidating to wrap your head around the countless nations and time periods that are in the game. It offers so much deep gameplay and statistics you'll need to keep track of. Its most hardcore fans have played it for thousands and thousands of hours. You can pretty much start a new career in finance if you manage to finish a campaign in this game. The Witness by Jonathan Blow is one of the hardest and most beautiful puzzle games ever made. You wander around a stunning looking island and have to solve a bunch of maze puzzles. But it doesn't take long before things get really complicated. The game explains virtually nothing and everything in the world has meaning which is enough to make your brain hurt. <sighs> the Witness is a true masterpiece you should play without looking up solutions online. Just grab a notebook and a pen, and we'll see you back in two months. Okay, what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna sit 10K off.
off a target, we're gonna blap it really quick, and then we're gonna warp to the run spot. Does that make sense? Right, yep, yep. Outstanding. EVE Online should probably be the last choice for players who are just looking for a new MMO. This space exploration game is very complex and unwelcoming to newcomers. Players can participate in a number of in-game professions and activities. This includes mining, piracy, manufacturing, trading, exploration and combat. Five, four, three, two, decloak, 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 torpedoes on the Dominics, Dominics, Dominics. Learning how everything works is difficult and often comes from costly mistakes. That's because spaceships in this game cost real money and you won't get them back if they blow up. So think before you jump into this game. EVE Online definitely isn't everybody's cup of tea. Gamers that buy Digital Combat Simulator A10C Warthog probably know what they're getting themselves into. This is an incredibly hard game, even to those who are familiar with flight sims. The simulator is the real deal. That means that if you manage to fly the Warthog in the game, you can also pilot one in real life. As you might expect, that means you need to study its system manual, which is over 700 pages long. You need to know what every little switch button and knob does and understand the NATO phonetic alphabet. Flight sims don't get more hardcore than this. Will the world you build be like ours? Or so different that today we cannot even imagine it? We love the fact that one of the most complex puzzle games in the last few years was made by the people that gave us Serious Sam. The Croatian developer Crow Team went from a mindless shooter to a very highbrow puzzle game in the form of the Talos Principle. You have to solve a series of puzzles that range from challenging to impossible. The game even handles heavy topics like consciousness, morality and faith. <laughs> At least you can always fire up Serious Sam and mow down some enemies if you get frustrated by it all. When a video game is almost as difficult as actual programming, you have to wonder if you can still call it a game. Hacknet is a hacking simulator in which you have to use real programming code to solve the mysterious death of a famous hacker. This means you'll be staring at a black screen most of the time unless you know a bunch of complex code and are able to experiment with it. At least you don't have to worry about getting busted by the FBI or recruited by Facebook. Surrender. The Total War series is known for having huge battles with thousands of units. Total War Rome 2 is probably our favourite one and it's pretty complicated. Not only do you have to win the real-time battles, but there are more layers of complex strategy involved. You need to order your legions around the map and build towns. You need to please the people and give them a well-organized city full of culture so they will support your army. There are politics you need to consider and the list goes on and on. But like they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. By your command. Yours for command. There you have it, 10 of the most complex video games of all time. How many of these did you play? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.